morning everybody welcome to the buttermilk channel this video is a little bit different than I'm normally gonna do but it's still information about truckers and truck drivers well you hear every itch I don't know maybe it's my fuzzy beard or whatever this is about getting groceries while you're on the road well as some of my close followers know um, I have keto for truckers uh, also on um, YouTube um, and I show some things about cooking and uh, what I eat on the road um, and how to get groceries there's a lot of grocery stores now that offer curbside pickup and some of them offer delivery yeah you do have to execute your pickups and you also have to execute your deliveries uh, some of them will deliver this depending on the areas that you're in because every area is different uh, they will deliver to your truck um, I think it's like 10 or 15 dollars extra no biggie you know because you're going to pay that even if you get a pizza delivered. You're going to pay a tip. You're going to pay the pizza place, plus you're going to have to leave a tip. So, vice versa. But, the number one thing is I like about using the Walmart app. Then after you hit the app button, you go into this here. And it shows you... Um, your zip code you punch your zip code in and to show you the closest Walmart grocery uh, neighborhood grocery uh, you may be able to get the truck in there and do your personalized shopping yourself or you may do um, pick up or delivery uh, I've never personally did the delivery service I've always swung by uh, I've dropped my trailer uh, in a Walmart parking lot um, and circle around the building, went to spot whatever, pick my groceries up, come back around, pick the trailer up. Um, I've did it that way several times. Uh, I have seen some YouTubers that ordered their groceries. They knew they're going to be down for their 34-hour reset. Um, they ordered the groceries. Um, they gave them a time when they was going to be there, um, and that works out. For them but the main thing is I like fast food every now and then but I like to cook um, and have my food that I know is going to be a better quality than I can get in these fast foods um, I have a very sensitive stomach uh, on some things and some of this fried foods and other things make me go um, in truck stops a lot sooner than I need to go. <laughs> we'll just put it there. But I hope um, you learn how to cook um, in a truck. I do use a 12 volt lunchbox oven. I've cooked you know a lot of things in it um, but I use I think it's a 12 by 12 or something I bought it at Walmart it, when I was doing my grocery pickup I went through and looked up electric skillets I think it's like 21 or 22 dollars uh, I bought that one I have a 3000 watt converter um, which is not ideal probably need a 3500 but um when I started all of this cooking and everything but some people use that butane um, I don't know about using gas in the truck a lot of people say it's fine it's safe um, I'm not gonna tell you what not to use or what to use I just tell you what I have I do have a microwave to uh, heat my food up um, I put my own refrigerator in um, 
I had to beat and pick and cut some things off in the cabinet and all. And uh, but I got one in here. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but I didn't mess up too bad of stuff. Um, so when Lisa is up on the truck, he's not no damage uh, where I've cut a cabinet out or nothing like that. I didn't do all that. Uh, I bought one of those dorm room uh, refrigerators and uh, luckily it fit in the cabinet back here. Um, let's just show you. We'll just show you. Hang on there. I hope y'all can see that. See how I made it fit in there? Only thing I had to do was cut that piece of metal there down to there and uh, we cut that bar off of that when it hung there's a hinge bar it goes that way we just cut it off I had him do that up there in the shop and see here where I had to knock some of that stuff off microwave oh yeah let me show you something else too that's my closet but there's my K-cup coffee thing. I mean, you buy like 12 cups of K-cups, Stevia. Uh, Walmart brand, I get the Great Value brand. Like $3.50 for 12 cups of coffee. Um, I don't think Love's coffee is all that good, even though it's free. Y'all hang on, let me get sit back down. Well, and, and I hope... That some of y'all drivers out here um, can start eating a little bit better. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't like fast food. I do eat it from time to time. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was eating uh, Chick-fil-A, not Chick-fil-A, McChicken, McFish. Uh, I had a, uh, two Fridays in a row, I splurged and went there. Um, and there's restaurants all over, um, a lot of them's in the mom and pop areas that have food that is substantial as home cooking, macaroni and cheese, cold slaw, potato salad, things like that. Um, if you're coming down I-85, Echo's Truck Stop is one of my places you can get a 32 ounce cup of potato salad for 10 bucks cold slaw 10 bucks you know the big 32 ounce cup and you eat a couple of meals off of that um hamburger steaks uh with mushrooms um things like that uh i like chef salads um and i'll go into some places they're seven eight dollars they're usually two times bigger, uh, some places bigger than what you get at Subway, um, and it tastes a lot better. But the main thing is, you know, use these grocery apps and stuff that deliver, uh, and cut down on wasting your money in truck stops. Some things you're gonna save uh, big money, but you still, if you eat out during the week, let's say Sunday through Thursday is a typical week for me. Um, it's still going to be the same whether you go buy your groceries or if you eat sensible at fast food. Now, if you go in and uh, get some of these fast foods with sandwiches and just a sandwich and a drink and fries or eight bucks, yeah, you, you're going to blow... A weekly budget all to pieces um, but usually I spend on the average of um, 70 to 90 dollars and a lot of that is getting paper towels cleaning supplies uh, whether you get laundry detergent or dishwashing detergent to clean your windows um, drinks I usually get a gallon of tea, trash bags. Who would thought that truckers use many trash bags? I mean, um, those t-shirt bags you get out, pilot and the loves and all that, 
they do all right for a few minutes uh, but sometimes during the day if you are busy you'll have trash piled up so I just go ahead and you know get the 13 gallon tie flex um, that way I can just ram it in there and get her full in the, the day take the trash out well I hope this kind of helps everybody uh, about getting some more um, good food in the truck I use Walmart most, most of the time uh, but I do like Aldi's or Aldi's um, depending on what part of the branch you're from they have good deals uh, the prices are about the same as Walmart some things are cheaper some things are cheaper at Walmart but it's just access you know uh, up there as you go into Aurora Indiana there's an Aldi's and they have a huge parking lot um, and you can just park right beside the bank there and walk in and buy your groceries and load up and go on all right if you have any questions feel free to comment here buttermilk1972 at gmail.com um, maybe we'll show I'll show something in my eye now I'll show you a couple of pictures meals and stuff that I put together um, in the truck 90% um, of them, everything's bought cooked in the truck I usually cook at one time that way um, I'm not trying to cook every day because during the week you know you kind of get busy so I just have stuff kind of made up put it in Ziploc bags bowls and things and you know kind of make a plate like leftovers all week and uh, when you get done with your shift you can just heat your plate up or if you're sitting at a receiver um, you can make you a hamburger to uh, whatever you got left over or you know cooked uh, for lunch breakfast is the same way if you get there early in the mornings uh, as you've seen here some things I do for breakfast alrighty I'm rambling on thank you for stopping by watching the buttermilk channel uh, if you have any questions on how to get started and cooking and stuff uh, feel free to let me know uh, everybody have a good day be safe out there